QuickBooks Online 2022 Month 1 Reports Export to Excel. Get ready because it's go time with QuickBooks Online 2022. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars practice file. We set up with a 30 day free trial. Holding down control, scrolling up just a bit to get to that 125%. Currently in the home page, otherwise known as the Get Things Done page. business view as compared to the accounting view if you wanted to change to the accounting view it's something you can do by going to the cog up top then going to the switch to the accounting view down below we will be toggling back and forth between the two views either here or by jumping over to the sample company file where it is currently in the accounting view Going back on over to our Get Great Guitars, we're gonna open up a few tabs up top to put reports in, right clicking on the tab up top, duplicating it back to the tab to the left, right clicking again, duplicating it again. We're gonna do this two more times, back to the tab to the left, right clicking, duplicating again, back to the tab to the left, right clicking and duplicating another time. While that is thinking, let's jump back on over to our reports in the sample company just to note where the reports are located in the accounting view, which is on the left hand side, simply saying reports. That's where the reports are at. If we go back then to the business view in the second tab, now I'm going to be opening up some company files and this time we had memorized the files from the last presentation. I'll show you how to recreate them as well but I'm gonna open them up imagining now we're at the end of the month. We've got our memorized forms and all we have to do is, is open them up and then make sure we got the date properly set and then we can, we can set them up to give them to our client or possibly supervisor at the end of the month. So we're gonna go back to the business overview, gonna go into the reports and instead of being on the standard tab, I'm now in the custom reports area and we put in this custom reports of the month one reports. We just put the normal reports in there, the balance sheet, the income statement, a trial balance, and then we got the transaction uh, list by date. So I'm just going to open these up and then we're going to export them to Excel. We're going to use Excel then to create one PDF file with all the reports in them. Going into our balance sheet, the date already formatted for us, the report already formatted, just to see what the formatting was. However, if we were to start with a standard balance sheet, we went into the custom formatting, took out the pennies, put a negative around, the, or brackets around the negatives, made them red. We also went to the header and the footer, got rid of the footer items, date, time, and report basis. Closing this back out, this is what the balance sheet is currently looking like at this time. So there it is. Let's do the same thing on the income statement. Going to the next tab to the right, going down to the business overview. We're going to go down into the custom reports and we also save the income statement. Otherwise known as the profit and loss, we changed the name to the income statement just to switch things up a bit. We're going to go then in to the income statement, opening it up. Now we set this up from a profit and loss. The things we did to change it is we just opened a profit and loss. We went into the customization of the reports, got rid of the pennies, brackets, red numbers for the negatives and we then called it income statement, and then we got rid of the footer, date, time, and report basis. So let's now go to the trial balance, same kind of thing. This is what the income statement, where we stand at this point in time on the income statement. Trial balance, let's do the same thing. We're gonna go down to the business overview. We're gonna go into the reports, and just note that as we have these reports down here, you could use these reports then to create your management reports as well. So if that might be another thing you wanna test out, we're not gonna go into that in detail here. We're gonna export them to Excel at this point and create one PDF from that. Back to the custom reports, closing the hamburger, open up the trial balance, the trustee TB, and then this is where that stands at this point. And all we did was, in terms of customization, was customizing up top. We got rid of the uh, cents. We got the, the negative numbers bracketed and red. And then on the footers, we got rid of the footers. Get the stuff off of the feet. Get it off the feet. Closing that out. 
and then let's do the one more tab to the right and go to the business overview and open up the reports closing up the hamburger and then we're going to go into the transaction list by date and on this one this is where we stand on this one i don't think we did much new or any big changes to this one and we might have got rid of the footer but there it is let's go ahead and do some exportation now exportation i'm going to go to the first one which is going to be the balance sheet and export this one first so and i'm going to make this our primary excel worksheet to be exporting to i'm going to hit the drop down export to excel you do need to have excel in order to export to excel or else you know it won't work because it's going to export to the excel which you have to have so then i'm going to i'm going to take that one i'm going to drag it i'm going to drag that first one into my folder grabbing it notice it's showing up down here because i'm in google i'm in google chrome i think if you're in a different browser it'll look a little bit different so you have to get used to whatever browser you're using. I'm not really uh, promoting Google here. It's just something I've gotten used to using and I can't, I don't, I'm a creature of habit. I'm going to, I'm going to change the name, right click and rename it. This is going to be reports for, I'm going to say 01.31.22. And then let's open that one up. And I'm going to try to get all the other reports on this one tab, which we can then use to create one giant P to the D to the F PDF report with all of the uh, financial statements in it. Closing up the enable of the editing. I'm not going to do much editing here unless it doesn't fit on one page wide. You could, of course, get into more editing, but it's not an Excel course. So I don't want to get too involved in that. What I typically do do is I go down here to the page layout view just to make sure it fits on a page, one page wide. As long as it's one fits in one page wide, I don't care if it's two pages long, just I don't want to be taping things together uh, to be able to read it. So I'm going to then save it and then let's do the next one. And I'm going to open up the next one, which is the profit and loss. Let's just export this one to Excel as well. I don't need to drag and drop it. I'm just going to open this one up directly and do some copying and some pasting. Some good old copy and paste. That's all you got. That's all we need to do. We're going to then drag on this one. It went to the wrong window. Enable the editing. Going to select the entire worksheet before I do anything to it. Putting my cursor on the triangle. Selecting the whole thing. Right, Control C or right click and copy. And then we'll go back on over to where we want to put it. I'm going to add a new tab down below. New tab. Double clicking on the tab name and call this income statement. Let's just call it IS. It's the is statement. The is statement. Income statement that is. And then you got to be an A1. And you can select the entire worksheet and control V or right click and paste. I'm going to hold down control. Scroll up a bit. Making it up to the 145%. It's clearly going to fit on one page wide, so I'm not going to get into any other fancy formatting at this point. If I go over to the page layout, I can see it fits on one page wide and then back to the normal. So that looks good. Good enough. Good enough for rock and roll. And then I'm going to close this back out over here. It's a little out of tune, but it's just rock and roll. It's okay. And then I'm going to go to the tab to the right. And then we got the trial balance. Let's export this one. Trusty TB drop down. Let's going to open up the Excel worksheet. Double clicking on it or opening it up. We're going to do the good old copy and paste. Copy and paste. Got to do it in that order. You can't paste and then copy. That doesn't make any sense. You got to copy and then paste. I'm going to put my cursor on the triangle. Select the whole thing, control C with the copy. You got the dancing ants as they used to be called. The Excel is fun guy used to call them dancing ants, which I thought was funny. I'm gonna open up the uh, plus button down here. This is gonna be the trial balance, the TB, trusty TB. Not tuberculosis, the trial balance. The trial balance, we'll put that in A1. Hold down control, scrolling up a bit. It should fit on one page wide. Let's check it out by going to the page layout view. Totally fits. It totally fits. Let's save it so I don't lose all my work. 
and then I'm going to close the other one up back on over uno vase moss one more time this time this one's not going to fit on one page wide I can tell you that right now right now I can tell you that let's go ahead and export it I'll we'll, we'll, let's do the exportation to excel we're going to open it up open it up and do the old copy to the paste copy and paste it's going to the wrong screen again that's okay drag it over into the right screen and then we'll copy that whole thing i'm not going to edit it yet i can see it's going to be a problem i'm going to take the, the triangle i'm not going to get ahead of myself and start fixing stuff till i put it where i want to go dancing ants see they look like ants they're not really dancing they're more like marching i would call them marching ants but that's not as colorful of language and then i'm going to hit the plus button down here double click on the tab down below this is going to be transaction detail list or something like that put that in a1 control v now let's edit it now let's do the thing we've been itching to do and fix this thing if i go into the page layout tab no way that's fitting on one page see no way so we're gonna have to do this landscape so first i'm gonna i'm gonna un this whole thing is too wide Let's go to the home tab alignment and unmerge these cells. The merging cells messing everything up. Unmerge these cells, unmerge these cells. And then I'm going to pull these over into column B so I can delete column A. Just going to pull those over here because I don't need column A. There's nothing in it. Why do they even have it if there's nothing in it? You know, like what are they thinking? Let's just delete it. Okay, let's make it landscape too. We're gonna go up top with the landscape page layout, orientation in the setup group, landscape. It didn't change. I hate that when it doesn't do that. Sometimes if I go into the print preview and back, then it fixes it for some reason. Let's go back on over. This is probably just my computer's glitchiness. So I'm going to go back on over. Did it do it? Is it in landscape? All right. So then certainly didn't help much. I'll say that for it. Let's close up the memo line seems to be massive. I don't really need that. Let's close this up a bit. I'm just going to drag that on over. I don't need these two really at all. I'm just going to I'm not going to delete them. I'm just going to go from C to D and hide them. Right click and hide. Hide those. Okay. That helped a lot. And the memo line, I'm going to make it way smaller, way smaller. That's just ridiculous how much room is there. If you have long memos, by the way, you could wrap the text, although it'll, it'll give you a little space over here by going to the, to the wrap text. It's already wrapped, so it shouldn't need, does, there's, no, there's no reason. Like you can make the cell a little wider if you really want to see it. But I don't really want to see, I'm not, I don't think it's that important. And then the account, this one looks like it go a little smaller than that. And the split. This one seems excessively long too, doesn't it? Like, why does it need to be that long? Let's make that a little shorter. Make it a little shorter. And now it's just working. This one has to be longer because we can't have those hash thingies. And then let's make this one a little shorter. I don't need it that long. Even the date link seems a little long, doesn't it? A little long in the, in the nose, long in the face. It's not a horse. We're not talking about a horse here. It's too long. Okay, let's go ahead and then let's center this across. Right clicking on it. We're going to format this one and alignment. And then I'm going to center it across instead of doing the merge thing. Center across way better. I feel like it's not a well, no well known thing. This that I'm telling you, not well known. But I think it's, it should be. That's what I'm talking about. Alignment, horizontal, center across. Okay. Uno vase moss. Right click, format, center it across, and okay. We'll save it, and then we'll export it as a P to the D to the F, PDF, file tab printing it 
and then we're gonna use the cute PDF printer to make a PDF out of it. That's what we're. That's what we'll do. I want the entire workbook, six pages long. Notice I could work on centering it a little bit more, but I won't. And then see this one's way out of center. You could center it without too much effort, but more effort than I will expend at this point in time. And then here's the transaction list. Fits on one page landscape but we can still see it in a vertical fashion which is nice we got that going for us which is nice let's print it out print it out which is going to take it to the pdf because we're using the cute pdf printer which is a free tool i'm not promoting them or anything but some kind of pdf printer would be a good thing to have that's all i'm saying should have one everybody should have one it's free you can get one for free and they're useful so now we can give the files to somebody. We can give them a zipped file. The, we can give them an Excel file, which isn't normal that you would give someone an Excel file unless they wanted it in that way. We can attach one file at a time. We can use the report manager thing over here to, to format our reports, which I'm taking, which is in here. Or we can give them this PDF file with all the reports in it and attach that to an email. Let's open it up. I'm opening up in the browser, but you could use the reader tool as well. So then you can just scroll down and here's what's in it. So that's what it looks like, the reports. And this kind of gives the illusion that you've got some fancy Adobe program that can paste together the different uh, PDF documents to some degree, which could, you know, it could be impressive. But that's how you can, those are the reports. Those are the, those are them.